you, Quinn? Yeah, that's me. Jensen, is it? You weren't followed, were you? Not that I'm aware of. Yeah, I can believe that. They're having a hell of a time keeping up with you. Yeah, I like to play it by ear. Whatever works, works. Practical man, I... Just keep doing whatever you're doing. Maybe you won't bring the bass down around my ears. Maybe. Look, Keitner said you can help me. Can you? Yeah. She told me to be expecting you. I'm just glad you came as soon as you did instead of going off on your own. There's enough kegs of powder lying around here already without throwing another loose cannon in the mix. You know how much we're risking to keep you off the radar? We've only got so much pull around here. It's Burke's show. And he'll do as he bloody well pleases. Which means stamping out any rats the moment he gets wind of them. I'm grateful, but can we get on with it? I understand you run a nice little sideline in procurement. Aye. From time to time you might say being inclined to do a little, uh, how should we call it? Bartering. On the side. Since the commander signed off on it, I suppose I could open my stock to you. For a price, that is. You mean I have to pay? <laughs> what? Of course you have to bloody well pay. Ain't exactly a fucking army quartermaster down here. I'm just a civvy contractor trying to make ends meet. This ain't a bleeding charity. Considering the circumstances... Circumstances? What, that you're a fugitive, and I'm risking my neck just talking to you? Eh. What are you trying to pull here? Although, I don't suppose you had anything to do with a stasis pod that was saved back on the ship? Yep. How do you know about that? Ah, so it was you, eh? Well, let's just say I have me sources and your little random act of kindness didn't go unnoticed. Tell you what, I'll give you a discount on me wares. Just... No okay, so it, it was beneficial to save, save that stasis pod. I've got an iron that could use running. Consider it a special offer of sorts. Ah. Interested? All right, tell me about this special offer. Look, I don't know if you've noticed yet, but this base is packing some serious heat, especially in the form of those walking brick shit house boxcars. If you get me a few odds and ends, I might be able to whip up a little something to make getting around easier. If you catch my meaning. What kind of something are we talking about here? Nothing fancy. Just a 329 series MPRS. A rocket launcher? Nah. That's right, mate. And custom built. But yours truly, of course. You see, while I might be able to get my fingers on some low-level arms, I'm a little restricted when it comes to military-grade bells and whistles. And I'm itching to try out a new trigger propulsion mix. Maybe even recalibrate the guidance system for some extra punch. Ah, uh, okay. I like the sound of this. <laughs> Fucking right, you like the sound of this. It's the bollocks. Look, all you gotta do is find me some components. I'll do the rest. An earlier boat had a shipment of 329s, but I wasn't able to poach any of them before they made it to the armory. Luckily, a little sparrow in my employ managed to lose one through maintenance circulation. But he got himself shit can before I could collect. Now my little butte's lying around the base somewhere in bloody pieces. The launcher, I mean, not the wee man. Though, I've no idea what really happened to him. Right, so, long story short, you need me to find the parts and bring them back to you. Yeah, that about sums it up, I'd say. Just find me the trigger module, scope assembly, and launch a barrel, and we're in business. I could scrape up the rest from leftovers here in the shop. I'll see what I can find. Any idea where they are? If I knew that, I would have picked them up myself. You're just gonna have to make do and keep your nose to the ground. Check the obvious places first, like the cargo and receiving areas. Worst case, someone found one of the parts and brought it to administration. I looked there last. Got it. Buy something or bugger off. Yeah. So, what do we have? Their hunt, not really important. Belly of the beast, upload the biometrics on the prisons of mainframe computer. Alright. Adventures of the Invisible Man. Get okay, this more cards here.
one patrolling. Admin. Let's do this first. Oh no. Access grant. What's that? Over here. If I can turn out, no, it's done. Okay, no security system. Lots of reading if you like like to read. Meal ready to eat. Taiyong Medical. Hmm. No, downstairs, I was pretty close. Good, good to know. Wrong, wrong direction. Go back. So activating security scan. Biometric scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access granted. Black side. There's there's something on the on the over there, some kind of item. So this is how how the game developers actually lure player to some place where there's actually actually plotline so there's there's like audio and guard is harassing the prisoner and there, there's just some item you want to pick up how many guards here there's like two of two of those there and one one is actually circling around Hello? <coughs> Anyone is 
fighting here, you better come out. are in dignity without trial. We have right under the Geneva Convention. Okay, so we have a security terminal detention silo B. What is this? Is this A or B? Detention camp. No! Not again. What more do they want from me? Please. Jensen, I'm in your detention camp and uploading to the security mainframe now. Copy that. Any problems? Negative. I gotta say, though, this isn't exactly what I was picturing when you described it. Yeah, well, we'll talk about that later. Right now, you need to get inside the interrogation wing and find out what Burke is hiding. Contact me when you know. Keitner out. Interrogation wing. So, okay, up upstairs and then... Way from here. So that way. Okay, that's 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 not good. So I, I should get across.
Hudson magazines. So he's probably at the interrogation. Activating security scan. A few moments later. Subject recognized. Access granted. Well, this looks good. One of those chairs. Okay, see, she doesn't look healthy. gonna hurt you. You're not one of them? One of the scientists? Please, you've got to get me out of here. You've got to do something before they come back. I don't want to disappear like all the others. Hold on. You said they were coming back? Who? Burke? Is he behind this? I... I'm not sure. He comes around, but not that often. I know he gives the orders around here, but he doesn't seem all that interested in us beyond some psych tests and questioning. He mostly leaves us to the doctors or... I wonder what they are actually experimenting here. Tell me about these scientists. Is one of them a woman named Reed? I don't know. Yeah, he, he's I mean, actually believing a woman, but her name his is wife is... Cardinal, not Reed. I heard the guard call her that. She... She seems different. Like, she doesn't like what they're doing to us. I can't help but think she's being forced to do these things. The others just treat us like animals. It's horrible. I just want to go home. I want to help you, but you've got to stay calm. Now, what did you mean by disappear like the others? What's been going on back here? I don't know much. I've heard rumors and seen some things, and I know what they've done to me. Biopsies, blood samples, tissue cores, like I'm some sort of lab rat. Is that why you're back here? Separated from the others? This is where they, they study and examine us. To see if we're compatible or something. I don't know what they want from us. Sometimes we're sent back to the cells. Those that aren't. Some of the others think they let them go. But I think they're being sent somewhere else. Another facility, maybe. Somewhere else besides this one. Why? What makes you think that? Because of the way they talk when they're with us. It's like they're looking for some kind of perfect beam match or something. I'm not a doctor. I don't understand it. I just don't want them touching me anymore. It's okay. What's your name? Miss Sullivan. I don't know why they're holding me in here. They just grabbed me off the street. I had heard Cape Town was dangerous, but I thought with all the security around. Cape Town? South Africa? Isn't that where we are? I blacked out. They drugged me, I think. I was on vacation in Cape Town at the end of the summer. I was going to be starting senior year in the fall, and I wanted to have an adventure. My parents must be so worried. I take it you're not a terrorist then? No, I've never done anything wrong. Never demonstrated against anything or, or anything. But neither have most of the girls here. I, I'm not sure about the men, but please, can't you get me out of here? I know this is gonna seem cruel, but I can't help you right now. You're going to leave me here? You can't. You have no idea what it's like. Please. I can't have you tagging along just yet, or walking the halls alerting the guards. Trust me, when I can get you out, I will. But your best bet is to stay put. Oh, I'll alert. 
expect them anyway. Bert and the two doctors were just here heading for the morgue. I'll tell them you're here. I will. Let me out or I'll tell them, I swear. And then what? Do you really think they'll let you go? I'm still the best chance you've got, but you have to be patient. Transfer to lab. Okay. Chain toe. So what did these ones die of, Savage? A complete neurological breakdown from the looks of it. Organ collapse, nerve degradation. Find him. There's been some trouble on the base. My man will take care of it. You were saying? We may be looking at serious cross-systemic failure issues with the OCM. It's those god-awful implants, Gary. The whole inhumane procedure. After a while, it just burns them out. Has this been happening at the other sites? We've experienced some die-off, yes. But I've been told Dr. Reed's research may offer a breakthrough. If we could bring her back here... That's not going to happen. Then we need to start considering other options. A nanotech-based solution performed on willing volunteers. And are you volunteering yourself, Doctor? Tiffany, please. I need to look at the raw data, Commander. If you would. I turned a blind eye to your little office romance, Savage. But if she becomes a problem, she will be volunteering. A retina scanner, so that's going to be a, a bit more tricky. Keitner. I found out what Burke's been concealing. The interrogation wing is some kind of medical testing facility. He's using the prisoners as lab rats. For what? Not sure. I'll need Burke's retinal scan data to find out. I can't download that without setting off a million alarms. However, Burke's eyes are enhanced, Jensen. He uses special retinal prostheses custom made for him by the Tai Young Medical Corporation. You want me to remove Burke's eyes? Not the ones he's currently using. He just received a new set this evening for when the cargo ship docked. With any luck, you'll find it in his office. Tighten her out. <laughs> extra, extra eyes. Two hours later. Take, taking too, <laughs> taking too long. Got some action. I'm, I'm leaving painkillers for them because they are going to need it. So, this is the boss man's room. So, eyes, 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 eyes. Burke's office retrieves Burke's eyes. So, where is he keeping his eyes? Ah, so the dying medical Kardner, re retinal first got the eye, But it's not going to fool a retinal scanner unless it's attached to an optic nerve. I know that, Jensen. I do have a plan. Take the eye down to Quinn. He'll know what to do. Kitner out. Hello. So, what's the story? 
Just got off the horn with the commander. She says she got something for me to take a look at. Prosthetic eye, one of Burke's. We needed to get past a retinal scan, but it's useless like this. I, without an active neural connection, it might as well be an expensive paperweight. <laughs> may as well put a golf stopper in front of the scanner for all the good that thing will do you. Solutions, Quinn. Think you can handle this? Lad, I may be just a mechanic, but I'm also the only thing keeping this whole bleeding facility from sinking into the abyss. Think I can manage a simple optic frequency bypass. Just let me get me tools. Right. So that's it now. You got the eye. Sorry it took a little longer than I expected. Nearly break the damn thing once or twice. New TYM firmware and such. Now don't go fucking around with it. It's only got a limited lifespan due to the temp power source I rigged. It's only good for one use. Got it? Is it supposed to be moving? Aye. What <laughs> creepy that is. Try not to pay it any mind now. Thing's stuck in calibration mode. Trick is, I got it thinking it's plugged into a new host. And by rewriting the system diagnostic checks, it'll keep trying to connect without detecting anything to miss, which in turn keeps it alive in a manner of speaking. Fucking brilliant piece of engineering work in the way I saw myself. This is pretty impressive work for a mechanic, Quinn. What's that supposed to mean? There's more old Quinn than meets the eye. No pun intended. It meets the eye. You wouldn't be the first fool to underestimate my know-how. Well, there's more to this job than just a simple battery swap. I saw you modifying the BIOS. This is state-of-the-art hardware and software. You're not just a mechanic. You're a hacker. What are you going on about now? Ain't nothing you couldn't pull off with a degree in computer engineering and a little elbow grease. Nah. Come off it now. We ain't got time for this. Yeah, that's well, that's pretty much true, works. actually. It'll work just dandy so long as you don't do something stupid like drop it. And it ain't a bloody webcam. So don't try using it to spy the knickers up someone's skirt. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Subject recognized. Ah. Uh. Access granted. So this is some kind of underwater. Yeah, underwater base as well. Jensen, it's Keitner. Where are you? In a well-concealed elevator inside the prison's restricted wing. Your gun-running neural engineer deserves a raise. I take it the eye worked then. Good. Now listen, if what you say is true, if Burke really is using the prisoners here as lab rats, I need proof. Hard evidence that I can take to Interpol. An entire prison full of kidnapped civilians isn't enough? You're an ex-cop, Jensen, you tell me. How many death row inmates crying on about their innocence have you seen getting out? Point taken. I'll see what I can find. Uh, this might be the same base than with, with uh, Deus Ex original game. like secret uh, base covering up even more secret base Some kind of real, really expensive express saw machine, probably. I'm sorry. Don't hurt me anymore. Doctor Kanavana, Kanavana. I Wait, presume. What horrors you got here, Doc? You letting anyone in, or just women? Who are you? How'd you get down here? This is a restricted Point. area. Obviously. 
You wouldn't want the rank and file knowing what kind of sick experimentation is going on down here. No, you, you don't understand. I'm not... Where's Burke? And your research partner, Savage? Burke went back up to the base. And Gary, Gary left. Told me to be smart, keep my mouth shut, and do Gary whatever Savage. Burke tells me to do. For now. For now? I heard the three of you talking up there in the morgue. Sounded like you don't exactly fit in here, Dr. Uh... Kavanagh. And who the fuck are you? The name's Jensen. I came here looking for someone. Megan Reed. Reed? I I've seen her research. Gary thinks it could be the key we're missing. If she can be convinced to come here. Megan Reed was kidnapped, Kavanaugh. Violently. As was her entire scientific team and the dozens of women you've been torturing down here. No! You, you don't understand. I'm trying to save them. Gary and I, we were sent here to put the OCM project back on track. It wasn't until we got here that we realized what that meant. And by then, by then it was too late. OCM. OCM. Savage used that term in the morgue. What does it mean? Organic computational matrix. It's a means of cross-connecting living brain tissue and artificial intelligence systems to create a supercomputer of unparalleled capability. Part flesh, part silicon. Okay. That's what you're doing down here, turning prisoners into computer parts. Human brain activity has to be integrated with the technology, or else it won't work. Even DARPA knew that. What does DARPA have to do with this? Nothing. Not directly. In 2007, they started looking for research partners to help develop an artificial cognitive science program that could increase a soldier's situational awareness in the field. A number of private sector companies submitted proposals. Bell Tower being one of them. No. Bell Tower was a private military corporation. DARPA wanted researchers. But one of the companies who did submit something was a biotech corporation that deals with Bell Tower. And they believed a successful program could be designed if it could be Ta wired medical. directly into the soldiers' brains. Probably. DARPA wasn't willing to go that far. So this biotech company took the idea to Bell Tower. A corporation that being privately funded doesn't have to concern itself or... with political or ethical debate. Just how many prisoners are being wired into this thing? I... I don't know. But a lot of them don't seem to survive for more than a year. I've told the others there's no way this project can stay viable with these kinds of numbers. But the OCM computers have to have them to work. Computers? You mean there's more than one of them? There's... several. This is just where the process starts. The factory floor. We select the candidates here, implant them, and ship them to the other locations. It's all very efficient. Uh -huh. Yeah, except your candidates keep dying. You seem to think Megan's research is integral to salvaging this project of yours. Why? It's not my project. Had I known before I came here... Right, just answer the question. <sighs> We're experiencing cross-systemic failures with the tech. Over time, subjects implanted with OCM augmentations suffer complete neurological breakdown. They... they pretty much burn up from the inside. Gary thinks it's a problem with the acceptance of the PDOT array. I've heard that phrase before. It's the building block of modern neuro-augmentations. Dr. Reed's been reshaping it, changing the way it bonds with living tissue. The mutagenic gene combination she's introduced into it, well, frankly, it's astonishing. Enough to warrant her kidnapping? So she'd be forced to work on this project with you? She's not on this project. I don't know what she's doing or where she is. This is the first time anyone's ever mentioned kidnapping. You're really gonna stand there and try to justify your role in this, aren't you? People are being enslaved, Kavanaugh. Enslaved and crucified. It, it wasn't like that at first. I thought we were gonna make a difference, do something incredible for the world. Right. And look how incredible it turned out to be. But you can still make a difference, Doctor. You can help me blow the lid off this place. Are you insane? I, I can't. There's too much money invested in this. Burke, the people I work for, they'll kill me. They'll hunt me down and kill me. I know people who can protect you, hide you. Interpol is just waiting for evidence to tear Bell Tower apart. It's not just Bell Tower. Oh, God. Oh, God, am I really going to do this? <laughs> you... You can't get me out through the prison. Burke would stop us. Then we'll have to do what Savage did. Take a submersible. We can't. The hatches to all the docking hangers are locked tight. The only way to unlock them is by using the security console in the prison command tower. Burke keeps an eye on us that way. Then I'll have to go back up there and unlock it. 
Well, you gather as and much evidence up. as you can carry. Oh my god, I'm really gonna do this. Damn right you are. Now get moving. I'll contact you when I unlock the hatch. All right, fine. But Mr. Jensen, please hurry. Keitner, contact Interpol. We need rendezvous coordinates for a deep sea submersible. A what? What exactly have you found, Jensen? A research complex hidden beneath this base. One of its staff is willing to turn whistleblower if we can deliver her to Interpol using one of the lab's transport subs. Which explains why you need the coordinates. I'll see what I can do. Keitner out. Yeah, this game is actually reusing a lot of ideas from the first Deus Ex game. Keitner, what the hell's going on? The elevator stopped. Burke must have intercepted our comms. Get the hell out of there, Jensen. I'll meet you. Okay. Emergency ladder. Is called yellow. Yeah, this is taking once, once again taking way too long. <laughs> Several bad puns late. Nest, didn't we? Jensen. It's bad. You need a medic. <laughs> yeah, I'll get right on that. Got those coordinates, Jensen. But Burke figured it out. Seized control of the station and locked down the detention camp. Bastard's cleaning house. I've got to get Kavanaugh out. Can't. Not until you stop the gas. Okay, there are you. What gas? gas? Burke's enacted a scorched earth protocol to stop the truth from getting out. Poison gas in every cell, lab tube, unless you stop it. Stay with me, Keitner. There's a circuit board underneath the prison command tower. It directs the flow. Everything's connected, but it might be able to redirect Whistleblower has to live, Jensen. 
only sure way we stop this. Keitner? Okay. Keitner! Got her system. Which is like IQ 1000. <laughs> yeah. Sure, we, we can actually do that. From the ship. You've been listening this whole time. Train, train, like the said. Everything's connected. Right now. Gas is set to disperse evenly between the prison and the lab. All you can do in here is the redirect flow out of one area into the other. Do nothing. Everybody dies. Do something. Somebody dies faster. Precisely. But if you want to bring down Bell Tower, the choice is clear. Yeah. Unfortunately, yes. Yes. A difficult decision, Bratan. But that gov nuke bark give you no choice. Tell that to the prisoners. You'll have Interpol rendezvous with Kavanaugh submersible. As soon as you unlock it, use the touch screen in the security room above you. It'll shut off the lockdown, so you can return to the base. And why would I want to go there? Use your head, Chubak. The last thing standing between you and Megan Reed is Bark. That, that it's this bay. Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Corporal Tyler? Oh no. Or should I say Adam Jensen? That's right. I know who you are now. Katna wasn't quite as good at hiding her tracks as she thought she was. If you think Kavanaugh's escape changed anything, you're wrong. Bell Tower will track her down. And on the off chance the good doctor does spill her guts to someone, anything she says will be discredited. Still, I admire your ruthlessness. To save the life of one woman, you allowed a hundred more to die. That takes strength of will. The Reed woman, this Megan you've been searching for, she's not here. And the only thing standing between you and the ship that could take you to her is me. I underestimated you back on the ship. I won't be doing it again. Access granted. Okay, he he wants a lad. You there, Quinn? Where are you? Getting the arse out of Dodge. Burke's had enough, and he's gunning for you. And I don't intend on being caught in the bloody crossfire. But listen, about the gas. I knew it wasn't easy, but you did what had to be done. Head to me shop. I left you a thing or two so you can give him hell. I'd like to say we'd meet again over a pint sometime, but well, Godspeed, mate. What's fight coming? <laughs> well, you made it. I'm torn between admiration and pity. You've condemned me for my actions, Jensen. But look at the lengths you've gone to to find one woman. Wasted potential. Although from what I've heard, I suspect you'll still be of use to me dead. Okay. Then we are going to use the... Oh no. Going. I'm curious. How far do you think Dr. Reed would go for her research? I think you'd be surprised. I'm over here, boy! You walked it far! I'm ready to go! 
Invisible <laughs> turret guy up there. So short sighted. Okay. How can a man so gifted be so blind? Well, that was <laughs> that was stupid. No Let's try it, try it again. Total, totally anti climatic. Okay, so loading bay. Epic, epic boss battle. I cast the boss. Perks revolver. Check this. So it has like six point pips of damage output, reload speed five, Oops. and it's a golden. <laughs> and my revolver was my revolver has a bit more damage, more reload speed. So in the end, this is like much cooler. King Revolver. I would like to kill him, but I'm playing Pacific Beast <laughs> playthrough, so that's not going to be an option here. Standing, he's not. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, you don't make things easy, do you? Still, with Burke out of the picture even briefly, as a power vacuum I can use, a return to loading bay two. The doors between here and the docking platform will be open for you. Last time I passed through there, Burke's men were still waiting for me. Not anymore. Burke has just ordered them away. Great. Except I came here looking for Megan Reed, Bratan. I can't leave without knowing. There is a boat heading toward the location as we speak. If you hurry, you can be on it. Sneaking back to the same ship <laughs> I came.
Bratan. Quinn? I'm afraid our good friend Quinn met with an unfortunate uh, incident during all the commotion and is no longer with us. Uh -huh. no voice. It was you this whole time. Who are you? For the moment, I'm between identities. I apologize for the duplicity, but it was a necessary precaution. You had to be kept in the dark. And Keitner? Did she know? Commander Keitner's perception was much like yours. Shrouded. She saw what she needed to see, and was told what she needed to hear in order for me to complete the mission. So we were both pawns. Except she's dead and I'm not. So where does that leave me in your grand design? We are all pawns in someone else's grand design, Mr. Jensen. But that doesn't make Natanya's death any less tragic. Your actions ensured her sacrifice was not made in vain, however. Dr. Kavanaugh made it out safely, and is on her way to the rendezvous site. She will expose the truth in due time. Kardner wasn't the only one who died back there. Those prisoners... ...will be added to a long list of Bell Tower's atrocities. We will not let them be forgotten. We mustn't stay here much longer, Mr. Jensen, if we hope to get you away from this base. I still have questions, Quinn, and I want answers. Real answers. No more bullshit. You really want to waste time chatting, Bratan? Fine. I will answer what I can, but keep in mind you have a boat to catch. Keitner said she had been approached by an agent from Interpol. It was you, wasn't it? Very astute. When I learned of Commander Keitner's suspicions and insubordinate behavior towards Burke, I saw an opportunity. Pretending to be an agent of Interpol okay, seemed he, the he best way to gain agent trust. Of Interpol. You mean you lied. So who do you work for? A loose network of independent operatives. Agents of conversion and equilibrium who seek to expose corruption and assure humanity's natural progress. In truth, we are not affiliated with any global organization. But then, neither is our enemy, officially. Your enemy? You're not just talking about Bell Tower anymore, are you? You're talking about... The men and women who pull Bell Tower strings. The same men and women who ordered them to kidnap Megan Reed. Bell Tower probably has a battalion on its way to clean up this mess. How do you plan on keeping what we did here a secret? I'm delighted to say that Buck did most of the damage control for us. After requesting a profile search on you, he never explained why he needed it. I believe he wanted to keep control of you to himself. Since that time, we've been monitoring all incoming and outgoing communications, and the lockdown allowed me to discreetly install a tunneler, rerouting the base's network traffic. By the time Beltow realizes something is wrong, it will already be too late. What about the rest of the base personnel? Most of them think Burke is still in command. Technically, orders continue to be issued in his name, but I'm the one making the calls. I've also taken the liberty of coordinating of this sector of the base. For the moment, at least, we're safe. Burke isn't exactly dead, and once he wakes up, it's gonna get ugly. Like I said before, you haven't made things easier for us. But they haven't forgotten that small detail. For now, Buck remains contained. Once you're off the base, I'll find a more permanent solution. All right. Where's Megan? I don't know for certain. But what I do know is that earlier today, Buck issued orders to have a large group of detainees transferred off this base. Supposedly, they will be assisting at another black site facility. Kavanaugh said this was just the factory floor. You're sure Megan is at this other facility? Nothing is ever certain in life, Mr. Jensen. But it is the best chance you have. Unfortunately, the cargo ship carrying the prisoners has already set sail. But I took the liberty to send out an urgent dispatch in Burke's name, ordering the ship's captain to hold position until one more detainee could be flown on board. In stasis. A helicopter is en route to pick you up. Wait a second. You want me to get inside another stasis pod? Last time I got in one of those things, yeah, it, didn't it go was so pretty well. painful. I know it's far from ideal, but frankly, your options are quite limited. Although, I suppose you could try swimming there. Better be the right fucking boat this time, because I don't feel like coming back here anytime soon. Don't worry, Ned. It'll be grand. Besides, I thought you Americans liked riding off into the sunset. Yeah. It's done. Exactly as you instructed. And yet you sound disappointed. You think we should have handled this differently? I think we had a valuable asset in our hands, and we're letting him slip away. 
He could have been very useful in the coming storm. A hand does not need to be clenched tightly to maintain its hold on someone. Jensen carries too much baggage right now. His obsession with Reed only serves to distract him. We could have told him the truth. He must discover it by himself. And when he does, if you have followed my instructions precisely, we will know how to find him. Assuming he lives that long. All right. So basically, this is part where I'm finishing the broadcast here. But before that, a bit of teaser. Richard, any chance you're still there? Jensen, my god! You've been offline for days. Where the hell are you? I was hoping you'd tell me. I'm pinging you now. You're in... Singapore. Something's wrong, Jensen. I pinged you, and a second later I lost your GPL signal. It's like you disappeared into a black hole. Gotta be a jammer. Well, obviously. If you can find the transmitter and take it offline, I'll be able to track you. And keep you on a tighter leash. I've got more important things to do than help you keep tabs on me. If Megan and her team are here, there's no time to waste. 